Batesville, the road up Mount Spokane is back open tonight. Heavy snow toppled trees and ripped down power lines, closing the road for several hours today. KXLY 4's Eric Loney spoke to neighbors who said they heard the trees starting to fall early this morning. Heavy, wet snow fell all night long, more than six inches in some places here on Mount Spokane. The weight of the snow was so heavy, it knocked trees down, ripping them out by the roots. Neighbors tell us they could hear the tree snapping starting early this morning. They're still snapping up there. Wendy Holmes, her husband, and her son had to saw their way down Bill Gold's Road this morning. We had to cut down several trees and more were falling as we were cutting those. Four trees blocked the road out. A lot more are leaning over, just haven't broke yet. Heavy snow and soaked ground sent trees spilling onto State Route 206. <laughs> State crews slowly worked their way to the top of Mount Spokane. More than four miles of highway was blocked with downed trees and power lines. <laughs> crews would clear one tree only to have one or two more fall under the weight of the snow. And the more it snowed, the more trees bent and drooped over the road. Probably, uh... Oh, half a dozen trees hanging on the line up there. And Inland Power sent linemen to restore power to homes in the area that were in the dark. Yeah, and the power lines are really low with all that weight. Homes predicted they had six to eight inches of snow at their house. You could see it piled up in the cars that made their way down the road. It was a far different story than in Spokane, where heavy rains continued to fall, creating puddles, not piles of snow. It was enough for Holmes to keep her teenage son Cody home for the day. Couldn't get them to school, so it's a snow day. <laughs> a snow day, more than a month into what's supposed to be spring. On Mount Spokane, Eric Loney, KXY4 HD News.